Hello, uh, my name is Darren Byler at Caribou Creek Log Homes. This is my father, David, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about how log homes settle. So maybe the first question is, um, why do log homes settle? That's a good question. Traditionally, in log homes, we wanted a house to settle, come down, to keep the logs tight as they shrink, because wood will shrink. It shrinks some, and it compresses into the, the one below it, and and, and not to allow one to settle would mean that the house wasn't going to stay tight. So that's why we, we wanted them to settle. Um, and so a lot of our homes are, we no longer allow them to settle. Um, we, and we call it a non-settling system. Can you tell us a little bit about why we do that and, and what that non-settling system is? Uh, I have to say, when I first heard about the non-settling system, it was a little unsettling to me. But we, we like it because, like it a lot, because now we... Uh, all those things that happened when we were uh, allowing homes to settle, plumbing and doors and windows, we could take care of them, but they, they, they are a little more complicated. That has all come to a stop with this new engineered system that we use. And now when the wood shrinks, it's absorbed by the chinking material. It works very, very well. We, do, we kiln dry the logs, use dug fir, which is stable, and uh, it's... It's, it, there's many, many benefits from the, the finished product to everything. And, and it's not coming down at all. There's no settling at all, unlike any traditional log houses. Yeah. No, it doesn't come down at all. It doesn't settle. It's an engineered system, and it, uh, we don't build very many without it anymore. We still sometimes go back to the traditional method, but th this, this system really, really works well. Is there a big difference in price? Um, in the settling versus non-settling, um, particularly in, when we're talking about uh, a handcrafted log house. The system that we use to keep it from settling, uh, it can be add 10, 10 to 15 percent even on, on the log package. Uh, maybe not 15, but it's it, 20, 30,000 is not un, unusual. However, that comes back over and over again. We found most of our contractors do it once, they never go back to it from slip joints and plumbing to windows and doors and settling jacks, stairs, roof, porch roofs, all those things that w needed to be addressed are gone. Mm -hmm. And probably yeah. actually cheaper in the long run yeah. in most cases. Yeah. No, no, the non-settling system is, is if, if, particularly if there's a second floor, uh, is cheaper uh, in almost, unless you have free labor. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any drawbacks to the non-settling system? I mean, we talked about it. It could be slightly more money. Is there any other drawbacks? So the, the, the biggest one is that we, we like to build homes in the Swedish scope full scribe where each log is actually fit to the one below it and there's no visible chinking between it. And with the non-settling system, uh, we can still do the full scribe, but we are going to have a chinking material between the logs and you'll see that. We can blend in and it can match, but there will be, it will be there something to absorb that that mm -hmm. movement of the log. Yep. Some people actually prefer it. Some people call it the Western look, uh, which was more traditionally how log homes were built. But uh, if you want the true Scandinavian style house, we still will build that house and allow it to settle. So you mentioned an engineered um, non-settling system. What is that? What does it include? How, how do you achieve that? I'm not sure if this is absolutely necessary, but you need dry wood so that the wood doesn't shrink so much. And then there's, essentially, there's steel columns that come up through the logs, whether it's legs or pipes or something, comes up and, and supports the top log, and it's, it's, it's almost like a timber frame. So the, the logs are there, but there's actually steel columns going down to the concrete that really hold the weight. So all the weight is going down through point loads. Mm -hmm. And then as the logs shrink, they shrink away from each other instead of coming down, the whole load coming down. So each yeah. individual log stays at yeah. the same altitude or height. It does. Just It just shrinks away from it. And the chinking absorbs that little bit of movement that you get. So how does this non-settling system help both the contractor during the construction and ultimately the homeowner um, living in this log house? So it, 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 in, in many ways, it, with the traditional method, uh, uh, plumbing pipes upstairs had to have a slip joint on them. There was settling jacks on point loads where you had to go inside and, and adjust them. And, and there's also um, windows and doors are hard to keep tight and seal and still allow the logs to settle around them. And, and stairs, porch roofs, uh, those are all maintenance issues that the homeowner 
is going to have to be adjusting for, we say, two heating seasons after the house is built. It's not something the contractor can, can take care of immediately. And, and we help with that because we still do that occasionally. But it is, it is uh, completely gone with the non-settling system, completely. Thanks for watching and uh, let us know if you have any other questions that you would like to see answered.